Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the IA Cast. Alright, I'm Michael Doeys and I'm, we're back this week with a new episode and today with me we have the famous, now famous, Jeff Bishop. Hi Jeff. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great and and the reason why I say you're famous is you've, you've made kind of the accomplishment in, in ACV, I would say. Oh, I don't and know about that. I, I, I think it's an accomplishment. I'm, I think <laughs> it's really, really cool stuff and that's why we have you here to talk about it. And and so I think we we've, we've both been a member you much longer than me of been a member of blind information technology specialists and I I became a member last year and was that last year the year before I can't keep track. year before you've been a member a couple years last. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so and and how long have you been a member of of Bits Jeff Oh my gosh it's got to be at least what, 13 years or so, 14 wow. years, 15 years, something like that. Well, oh, there's people that have been a member since 1969. So I, I'm, I'm young compared to many. What was it called before bits? Cause I know it had a, a VidPi. VidPi. Mm -hmm. Visually yeah, impaired data processors Inter international. Wow. And that's P I mm -hmm. not P Y like Python. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So last year, because it, it's crazy that it's 2024 now, you know. Yeah, it does. It, it feels like a year already. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last and that's year, a good thing, but it's just been very busy. Yes, it has, mm -hmm. and especially with what you've been doing. And last year, you took on a new role with Bits. Do you want to talk about what that is and what that looks like? Yeah, sure. So our past president, Irene Hughes, resigned due to health reasons. And since I was the first vice president, I assumed the position of president. And so, yeah, there you go. <laughs> kind of kind of got short notice of it, about two hours before the actual board meeting of that day. And so we had to kind of react pretty quickly to that and sort of pick up the pieces and and kind of run with it. But yeah. uh, here we are. And and running you are. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's, yeah. uh, it's like a so marathon. Yeah. So what is BITS? What is the organization about and, and what what do you think makes it unique? Sure. Well, BITS stands for Blind Information Technology Specialist. It's, it's a group of both professional and consumer individuals who are interested in technology. And that includes everything from just how you're using technology in your daily life to those who are programmers or who are product managers or product makers to those who are working in education, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be, it's all about just people interacting in the area of technology. So it's, it's a great group to be a part of where we're, you know, last year when we certified our membership, we had 179 members certified. So the way this process works is that during the, from like November until March 15th or so, we, we have our membership drive for the for all of the special interest affiliates and affiliates for ACB. Because uh, BITS is a special interest affiliate of the American Council of the Blind. But really, I, I'm thinking of ourselves not so much of, as representatives of ACB, but rather just an organization unto ourselves. But but again, you know, being a part of ACB is important too. During that time that we did the certification, because you have to turn in your certifications on March 15th, um, we certified 179 people. So when I when I became president, one of the things that I talked to the board about was, hey, you know, we, we, we need to we need to kind of do a reset and try to to bring the family back together because it, we, we were sort of fractured a bit. And we needed to try to bring the the former members back and even bring new people into the fold. And I said, listen, the, the way to do that is, you know, we're a 501c3. So our mission is not to make a ton of money. That's not what a 501c3's main goal is, right? It's to give back. It's about, you know, serving other people. It's a it's a service-oriented organization. So we've we have quite a bit of money in the in the bank. And so I said, listen, 
we're not spending it. And why don't we give back to the membership by providing free memberships for those that have paid for their memberships since July of last year to the present and then through February 29th. So we went through a process of ratifying that and that got approved. And we've been doing that ever since. So as of today, we are we are we are well over 650 members at this point which is quite an accomplishment really when you think about it. And that's just the beginning though. It's it's interesting to see you know where where we're headed. You know, we had a we had an annual meeting where we met and we re- handled the business of the organization and one of the one of the principles that I outlined in that when I gave my presidential report was that you know the most important thing about us is our culture. And that we need to make sure that everyone feels safe, respected, and welcome in the in the affiliate. And also, we want to empower people in whatever way they wish to be empowered and, and get involved, either at a leadership level or just as a member at large or whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter. We want their voices to be heard, whether big or small. It doesn't matter. Every voice is equal and just as important as anyone else's. And God gave us two ears for a reason and one mouth. So we should listen more than we talk. Mm -hmm. And so I've sort of driven that, you know, to try to try to push that culturally. And one of the other things I'd said was, hey, you know, whatever has happened with members in the past, I mean, unless there was some kind of a legal issue or some sort of situation that would warrant it. We're starting with a clean slate and everyone gets a new chance because we're we we're we're trying to be a softer, gentler organization. Not that we weren't before, but we're trying to lead with pulling everyone together and and building something special. So that's what we did. And and it's fantastic. You know, we've had yeah, or Jeff, you've been on on the pod on the podcast for many, many years on the IA cast. Yep. Yep. And mm-hmm. you know, we always enjoy having you on. And so it it's really a a pleasure to get to interview you, you you know, have a conversation about bits because I believe that we're, we both are are technologists. We want to see where technology goes in the future, but we also want to see how people can use technology, how we can, as, as people and, and people in the accessibility space can improve technology and improve our lives through technology. Wouldn't you Mm -hmm. say? Yeah, absolutely. And in fact, that's one of the things that we have emphasized. You know, we we, we wanted to try to to do some things that, that Bits hasn't been doing for, for many, many years. And w- one of the things that I that I've been pushing pretty hard is this concept of partnering. We know that we can't do it by ourselves. We have a lot of talent in the organization, but but we can't do it by ourselves and we shouldn't do it by ourselves. We should do it as a community effort mm-hmm. with others where we can. Right. So we we've been doing that. So so for example, if you become a bits member starting in February, you'll you'll get additional rim access that for free. We partner with, with with Numa Solutions. We we're doing a lot more in the area of education. We'll probably talk about that in a few minutes, but but we wanted to solve that barrier of how do we get how do we get students access to course material for free so they don't have to go out and purchase it or purchase subscriptions to platforms that provide that material if you're taking a course through us how do we do that so so we worked out a relationship with bookshare where we are partnering together with them and and making it a win-win for them too so i think you know we're it's it's all about how can we pull people together and partner with us to achieve great things and and that just just makes for a really special and dynamic environment for all of us to be able to work together collectively. I finally say, you know, hey, everyone needs to pick up an oar and help, you know, steer the ship because we can't do it all by ourselves. We all need everybody rowing in the same direction and 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 working together collectively to ensure that we can achieve success. So it takes every single person in the organization to to achieve more. So that's 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 kind of the, what you know I've been trying to push for. So you know we were talking about 
you know, all the things that we want to do, is is there anything, you know, as Jeff Bishop, not the president of Bits, that you are excited about that we've been able to make that you that the board has been able to make happen with Bits? And 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 where do you want to see things go? Like, what would you like to get out of what's going on and changing? Well, I'm, I I think I want to learn more about the people who we re- re- recruited as part of this affiliate. I think there's, you know, what well over 450 new people. Mm-hmm. So we have to we have to figure out what their needs are. So that's going to be a a pretty monumental effort to try to figure out what that what that is. We need to be constantly listening. Um, I'm happy about the the reduction in the life membership that we look. It looks like it's going to get ratified in February. We'll know more about that at the board meeting. There's a 30 day window where we we accept comments from membership before we actually ratify those changes. But we will we will handle that at the next board meeting. I'm excited about the educational opportunities. I think that that has a substantial room for growth in our organization. We're starting with our Python training course, which is going to start on the 17th of February and then run from the 19th of February each week for, what, about 16 weeks or so. So 16, 17, 18 weeks, something like that. So it's it's exciting, and it's great to see the number of people who are interested in, in signing up for that. There's There's also great interest in doing things like office training and Google suite training and people want web accessibility training and people want web development training there's there's quite a bit of work happening with other partners as well that we're talking with where we think we might be able to partner together to bring some value across to to others as well in this space so really it's it's too early to tell exactly where we're going for sure we we have some vision around bringing some modern web capability to the affiliate and then sharing that out more widely across ACB. And we'll, we'll see what that looks like as we learn more about it for ourselves and see how we can adapt that for others and find out what, what we can learn from them to, to improve things even more. So there's lots of balls in the air, lots of juggling. And let's just all hope that we can keep all those balls, you know, up in the air and not falling down. I think, I think we will, but it, we're not going to get it right all the time either. See, this is the thing. I, I I impressed upon others that it's 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 truly okay to fail because there's really no such thing as failure if you learn from it. As, as is, there's no such thing as a mistake either unless you choose to not learn from it. And then it becomes a mistake, right? I, if, I if, we, say, if we, you know? I always say there's no such thing as failure, just roadblocks on the way to success. Yep, yep. Well, and, and it's all about how you how you look at life in, in in just because there might be a bump in the road, as long as you're learning from those things mm-hmm. and you're improving along the way, then it's not a mistake and it's not a failure. It's an opportunity right. for improvement. Right. So it's it just depends on what you choose to do with the things that you achieve and those things that you may not have achieved as to whether or not they are seen as successes or failures. So it just depends, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's all about it's about all about how you choose to look at things in your life to be able to determine, you know, what your trajectory is. Right. Now we we've talked about education and things that are are coming up. I'm I'm curious. Kind of thought about this on the spot here, but employment ha- has there been any thought or discussion about bringing employers like our, our organizations to come talk to you know maybe do events to talk about uh, what is expected of somebody to go to work with them or to add you know maybe help bits members or you know people like that to find employment is is there have you thought about anything like that We've had discussions with the ACB Employment Committee, and we're we're still those those discussions are ongoing. In fact, I owe them some feedback on the survey and things. But I think that's a, a situation where I don't know that we would be the ones to drive that conversation. I think what we would do it would be to partner with a group to assist in that process. Right. That 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 is specializing in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's the approach we would take because I th- I think we can't do it all. 
right? right. There's no way that we can do it all ourselves. So, right. so I think relying on them to come to the table and provide expertise and value to that space would be the way that I would approach that personally. Mm-hmm. But it's not up to me entirely. So, you know, it's uh, I'm only one voice. And right. I emphasize that with our membership and our leaders to say, listen, just because I'm the president doesn't mean that that your voice is in, as, as important as mine is. In fact, it's probably more. So, so keep that in mind, right? Like every, right. every single voice should be equally as important as anyone else's. So I'm not really sure. This is probably something we have to figure out and talk through and figure out as a leadership team. But I, I think it feels to me like we would achieve more by going about this in a way where we are partnering. But we'll see. I don't know. The, maybe give the membership some resources and, and ways to, you know, work with those partners and that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So speaking of membership, you know, bringing people together to talk as a, as a group, as a community is always very important in any organization, I think. And I, I believe that you guys have mastered that pretty well with the Saturday night events that you guys do hold. Do you want to talk about that? I believe it's the bits chat or. What's, yeah. What's so, that? so we do a number of things throughout the week. Most weeks we have presentations during the week. And then on Saturday nights, we we hold a bitch chat. It's an informal opportunity for people to come and talk about any topic that they want. We we provide a main room where people can come and talk, and then we provide other rooms where people can go off and chat about a specific topic, or maybe they want to just have a few less people involved in a conversation, so that they can go off and you know and go into a room and talk there. So it's just really just more of providing an opportunity for people to engage. Uh, we're, we're on average getting 35 to 40 people a week in chat, which is, which is pretty good considering the fact yeah. that there's an awful lot of activity, you know, throughout a bunch of different communities happening on a Saturday night, not to mention people going out for dinner and going to the movies and, you know, doing all, you know, doing all those kinds of fun things. So th- that's pretty impressive, you know, it, it used to not be that way uh, back in last summer. You know, it was right. my kid five or six, and now, now we're, you know, and and not only that, our board meetings, which is I, I've never seen this before in an affiliate. It's crazy. Our, our board meetings when people when, when we hold hold them, there's we 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 have 80, 80 people, 80, 90 people show up to these things, which is just outstanding. I'm and I. I'm kind of blown away by that, to be honest. I mean, I'm, I'm honored by it, but I am, I am, I, I'm just astonished, to be honest with you, that uh, with the numbers that we're that we're seeing, which, which shows you that people care, right? It shows you that people are invested in in wanting to know what's happening in the organization. They want to hear where the where the organization is going, what the leadership is deciding. They want to have input into that process, you know. So it it it's all about just. Making sure you provide as much opportunity for people to to chat or to meet and or to participate in the leadership process. It's all about being there for the membership. And as long as you maintain that level of attitude and work together to to do that, you know you're setting yourself up for success. Being fully transparent is the best way to go. Right. And you know, you mentioned meetings and, and other events. Th- that go throughout the week. Do you want to talk about some of those events? You know what we have at Bits because there are quite a few uh, great events that happen throughout each month. Yeah, well, the, the, there's Mac Bytes and Apple Bytes presentations that Herbie and 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 Brad run. Uh, those are generally on Tuesdays and some Wednesdays, and then we have uh, presentations from the Presentations Committee, and and those vary from from talking about you know, the best things to do when you're working with your family around the holidays to, you know, security and backup strategies. And we've, we've done training in, in assistive technology in, in these sessions. We've, we've done gold wave training. We've done all kinds of things. It, it, it's kind of varied all over the map. We, we bring vendors in and talk to talk to us. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's pretty impressive really. So it, it, you know, those generally happen on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. We've gotten feedback that people don't like Wednesdays because they're attending church and things. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about it and and see if we can. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what. I I don't make those decisions. But 
we'll 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 talk about it and see if we can improvise and provide more flexibility in our scheduling too to make sure that we're getting all of our members to participate or at least as many as, as we can. So, you know, that's, uh, that's just a few of the things that, that we're, that we're up to. And that's fantastic. And and there's yep. always typically something going on with bits, especially <laughs> on, on this topic. And that is on, well, a funny thing is groups.io calls each new thread a topic <laughs> yep, on yep. the mailing list. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's been a little bit of a an interesting growth opportunity for us. You know, we, we uh, when you add that many people to the organization, it it adds opportunities for 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 growth and lots of conversation, and that can overwhelm some people. So we it, let me just first say that we're living and breathing organization, and we may not get this right completely. But we're gonna we're gonna experiment and and we are gonna fail fast if it doesn't work and we'll and we'll reiterate. But we think we think this is the right path to take. So before we just had a an announce list and and a discussion list for our membership. So not that many lists. And people were posting, I don't know, it's not that way now, but it used to be what two, three hundred, four hundred messages a day on the list. And and people were very overwhelmed by that. They were like, Well, this is just too much. I don't know, you know. I don't know what we're going to do about this. So uh, they were leaving is what they were doing because it was just too much. So so the 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 email management team met and they came up with a strategy of, okay, well, what if we were to come up with lists that were topic-based and we created these lists and then people could opt into them or not opt into them, whichever the case, we're not going to opt you in. They could, they could sign up themselves to these specific lists and then they can go off and talk about specific topics that that were of interest to them. And it's working, by the way. It it you know people are starting to find out where they are and what their what their purposes are and and all of those things. It it it's not as voluminous as it was, and that's probably just because people are still trying to figure out exactly what this new change looks like. But we're going to try it. We're going to see. Now, there's been some complaints that people say, "Well, I liked having one list because everybody was all there. It was like a town hall, and it was easy to, you know, always." be learning from everyone who was posting but then there were lots and lots of other, that that was by the way the minority at least it felt like the minority because the, the volume of people who were complaining was much louder so that's why that's why the email manager team chose to to make the changes that they did now we're listening to that we've gotten feedback from from quite a number of members not 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 a ton but a few but you know we'll we'll, we'll reiterate if we need to we'll, we'll change things up again it's it's not about necessarily getting it right the first time. It's it's experimenting to see what works and what doesn't work. And you know, as long as we're transparent about that, and and tell the membership that hey, we may not get this right, so you you need to help us figure this out. And it's okay to not get it right as long as you're transparent about it, as long as you're willing to adapt, and as long as you're willing to listen. Then I think it's I think it's okay. I mean, I mean, that's how people learn, right? It's how, you know, you're not going to know unless you try. So, you know. Right. And and sometimes when you have an organization as big as, <clears throat> as Bits, you know, because uh, Bits, is, is it the biggest affiliate currently or is it? Is, is that... I think so. I think so. I, I don't think that there's any other affiliate in ACB that, uh, that is of the size of Bits at this point. And, you know, when you have an affiliate that size and, and you have extreme growth in a, in a small amount of time, you have to come up with new ways to communicate because, yep. uh, you know, when you have that many members, things just, yep. it cannot, it doesn't scale. And That's I right. think what's, what's been done is, is fantastic. And mm -hmm. we, we've also, as, as an organization made other changes too, right? That uh, yeah, we have a Discord server. Thank you, Michael. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really excited uh, so about we, the Discord. So, yeah, so so you can text and oh, you can text chat there, or you can jump on an audio channel and chat there, and and we've seen some interaction there. And it I think that's a newer platform, list. so people yeah, and it mirrors the list exactly. Yeah, yeah. So there's a room for each email list, and then you can go there and or channel for each of them, and you can go either text chat or you can or you can. Or you can, you know, voice chat, whichever one. 
And you do have to have to be a Bits member to join the the Discord or you know yep. the mailing list. Yep. Mm-hmm. And yep. you 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 know when you join, make sure to change your your Discord channel preferences because it does start everything as muted. So that is important to know. And okay. we also have a, a a voice alert bot that can tell people if you have if you unmute the channel when people are jumping. Yeah, that's voice. yeah, that's cool. That's neat. Yeah. And, and, and that's yeah. what I like about the organization. We do cool things to automate and, and, and be modern to make it sure that, you know, we are into technology. We're kind of that front line, but it doesn't, you don't have to be, you know, a tech geek or guru to join bits. You can be anybody that wants to learn more or be part of the discussion about technology. Is that that's right? right. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and we're wanting to put technology t- to good use to be able to help run the organization and automate as much as as much as we possibly can so that we can be spending more time with the members and less time in doing you know clerical things mm-hmm. right now we're 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 spending a great deal of time on dealing with membership data and we're going to hopefully solve that issue this year so that this doesn't happen anymore so that the computer would do it for us rather than us doing it manually. Because there's right. a lot of manual work going on right now behind the scenes. And trust me, it's lengthy and it's and it's it's burdensome for many. So we need to figure that we need to figure that one out. That 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 one has to, to get solved, especially if we, you know, expect to continue to grow and and you know, or at least to even keep the members that we have. You know, right. that, that's a lot. That's a lot to manage, or even on an ongoing renewal basis. Right. So. Yep. So I guess that kind of brings us to the, you know, people may be hearing all this and think this is fantastic, but. Yeah. So how do you join, right? Yeah, exactly. How, how yeah, do you become so, a BITS member? Yeah. So you can go to joinbits.org. It's at J-O-I-N-B-I-T-S.org. And you can go there and you can sign up. Memberships will cost you $20 for an annual membership, unless you're a student or unless you have a lifetime membership in ACB or there's other there's other ways to do it, but that that's the basic due structure, and we think that we think that there's enough of value there that you you would definitely get way more out of it than the twenty dollars you would spend. Uh, just the rim just the rim offer alone is valued at much more than twenty. So, you know, it it's a it's a win win situation for everyone. So, come join us. The water is warm, and uh, you know, come and come and can give us a try. We would love and, to have you. And, you know, let me, let me just throw this out there too. And, and, you know, answer, answer these questions as you can. Python course, mm-hmm. how, how much, how much of a value do you think that is for, for new joining members for 20 a year? Yeah, no kidding. Right. I, I mean, <laughs> if you were to take a college course that, like that, it would probably cost you, you know, what hundreds of dollars or, or thousand dollars to take a course such as that, maybe. Right. I mean, maybe maybe at a community college or something, it might be a little bit cheaper. But even so, you know, it it it's not cheap. Right. Um, we're doing it for free. So now, you know, the deadline for signups for that is February first. So if you're interested in that training, then you're not a bits member. You need to be a bits member first, and then you need to send an email to the to the president to ask to be enrolled in the course. You can do that by sending an email to president at bits-acb.org, and we can get you enrolled in the course. Yep, and 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 that's just one course, folks. That's just one yep. course. We're starting with one. We're mm-hmm. starting with one, and we're gonna we're gonna see how this works, and we're gonna learn from it. We're gonna adapt, and we'll figure out what it what it looks like for the future. But we're, and, and that's just one example. You know, you it, when you join Bits, you have access to some of the most talented technology professionals in the industry. Yep. You know, you can ask questions. You Pretty can exciting. learn. Go to these events, and and and, and talk to people. Twenty dollars is, in 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 my opinion, is a drop in the bucket for what you yeah. get. You can't even go out to eat for that these days. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it's a uh, which 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 means we probably should raise our dues at some point. <laughs> but uh, but you know we they haven't been raised in a really long time. But but really, I actually my my goal is to never charge for dues in the future. The goal is the, the goal actually is is to get grants to to run and subsidize the organization. 
and then continue to do what we're doing, which is to say, if you want to be a member, then come join us for free. No charge. Come and and, and learn and come come empower yourself because mm-hmm. that's and truly that's- what it's about, right? That's that that that's what it's and to be and to be a part of a community. That's truly mm-hmm. what it's all about. Yes. Yep. And I guess th- that's really all the thoughts I have. Do you have anything you want to wrap this whole thing up with, Jeff? No, I th- I think we I think we covered a lot. Again, come join us at joinbits.org if you would like to participate. We would love to have you. Mm-hmm. And we'll we'll you know you can go to the Bits website as well at bits-acb.org. You can join the the public facing announce list where you'll get announcements of activities that are happening for people who are not members of Bits. You can keep up to date with us there too. And yeah, I think I think we covered it, Mike. And you know, I think it doesn't matter what you, you know if you're an ACB member, NFB member, you know. It doesn't matter. This is just a great opportunity to network and meet people and, well, and that's to right. grow. You know, yeah. I, no one should think about this as a consumer organization. That, that, you know, yes, we're affiliated with ACB, but but honestly, we don't really talk much about ACB within bits. We we, we focus on the mission that we're there for, which is mm-hmm. to focus on technology and empowering people. Right now, that's not to say that we won't bring up ACB, but it's it's not the primary focus of what we do. Right. Technology is at this. That's the cornerstone, right? That's yep. the pillar that's of, right. of of the organization, and that's, that's what correct. it should be about. Yep. And, uh, that's right. That's fantastic. So, Great. Jeff, first off, I want to thank you for being here and talking about bits because I'm I'm passionate about the organization. I became a life member, and I'm very glad that I did. Yeah, you know, thank you, Michael. <laughs> it and and I urge other people to do that if you can because it really yeah. helps show the support for the organization. There you go. Uh, huge fan. <laughs> yep. I feel like this is one large bits promotion, but I think it's a great resource. That's, that's, and so yeah. And that's why I wanted to have a whole episode about it today. But you know, as we typically do, I don't know if Jeff remembers, but I'm putting him on the spot. Do you have a pick for this episode and uh, where can people find you online? Oh let's see. Do I have a pick? Well I, I've been playing a lot with Copilot Pro, and I, I don't know that I have a strong opinion on it yet, but I think it's something to watch, something to keep an eye on. It's from it's from Microsoft, and it works across Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. Think of Chat GPT built into Office, basically. Give me a few weeks to to have a stronger opinion about it, but it, it's an interesting technology. I think it's got a little. I don't know that it's rough around the edges as much as it is trying to figure out how to make it work in all the ways that you could get it to function. I think that's the, you know, and whether that's me or not, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think that's the, it has a steep learning curve. I think you can do some basic things. You can open up word and press alt I and you can prompt it and it will write something for you. But I'm more interested in how I can engage with it from an office perspective, like with Excel, for example, you know, I have mm-hmm. a, a spreadsheet and I want to have it go analyze data. How do I, how do I accomplish that? I, I played with it for a couple hours and kind of struggled with that. So this could be on me. So we'll come back on a podcast and we'll talk about yeah, I think all it's of a that good in the topic. future, but yeah. yeah, it's an interesting one. We'll, we'll see, but uh, let's see. You can find me on Mastodon at Jeff Bishop at Mastodon.online. You can, you can, that's probably the best way to reach me, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, that's, I, I'm probably more responsive there than email because, boy, I'll tell you, email is kind of crazy right now. <laughs> well, and so, if, you, if people yes. do have bits questions, where can they email you about that? Yeah, that best thing to do there is email president at bits-acb.org, and it will, you know, that goes into separate folders and things. And so, you know, that that you probably would get a quicker response to my my personal email. That has just exploded. So, I, I, I that's like digging out of a avalanche. So. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm beginning to think email is not the right communication uh, strategy anymore, but we'll see. I, I, um, I've thought that for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's 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 a little frightening right now, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Mastodon is probably the quickest way. Send me a DM. My 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 uh, stuff is open, so feel free. Have at it. Happy to happy to engage. So awesome. Yep. So my pick for this time on on the on the 
where Jeff was talking about with email and all those kind of things is an app that you can actually get for iOS and the Mac. I found a Mac version called Groups.io, groups.io. And you can get push notifications for all of your email lists that you're subscribed to. You can manage your list. It's basically just their website in an app format, to be honest. But it's neat because you don't have to have your email set. You could just turn your emails off and get notifications from the groups.io app or go to the website. And so it, it makes responding and tracking because sometimes email threads get mixed up and, and go every which way, but this kind of keeps it all kind of like a forum message board system on the website. So I, I, I love that. It's fantastic. So the groups.io app is one to check out. And that, that's interesting that you bring this app up because I find that app kind of confusing to use. Mm -hmm. I actually wish it were more an app than an web yes, I, front end. I, I wish that about a bunch of apps that are, are websites instead of native. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think that, that that service could use an app rather than just a front end to a, a website. A proper app. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you could do a lot more with it if it was just an app. But right. The, you know, um, you, you can't have everything if you want. <laughs> but it, it, it does help to kind of view that, in, in my opinion, instead of cluttering your inbox and knowing what you have and have not responded to and, you know. And it's also neat because if people make their profiles public, you can see who's all in a mailing list and interact with that person directly. That's really fun. You know, it kind of makes bits into almost a social network if you are inclined yep. To, yep. to do that. So that's true. It's pretty yeah. pretty neat. So check well, that the, out. Well, and then the other thing of then the other thing, of course, is when Groups IO gets blacklisted, then you can still communicate <laughs> by using yeah. their app, right? So yeah, that there was is a lot that. Of fun. Yeah, that was good times. That that was. Yeah. Oh yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of fun troubleshooting. Good that. time. Good good time weekend that was. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. So, didn't care for that too much. No. <laughs> no, not at all. Although that no. was fun problem solving it, like like running all those uh, commands, like, oh, let's see which server they're using for this. <laughs> yeah, that was challenging. Yeah. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> all right. He helped us out a lot with that. So you could find me producing content here at the IA cast. You can email me at Mike Doeys at iCloud.com. I'm on Mastodon at Mike Doeys at techopolis.social. That's M I K E D O I S E at Techopolis, T E C H O P O L I S dot social. I'm on X, Twitter, whatever you call it, as Mike Doeys, and all over the web. Just search for Michael Doeys, all that good fun stuff. And uh, I want to thank everybody for being here. Jeff, thank you so much for explaining bits. I'm sure you do this a lot more than you want to. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. So, it's, yeah. I really I appreciate it. I, th I think we've had five, five sessions on this topic this week. So, yeah, this is good. It's all, well, it's all fine. May, maybe if you get them all done in one go, you know, you won't have to. Well, I, I mean, I did a two hour one on Tuesday and I did two on Friday night and then this one. And then I got another meeting after this and then chat. And then tomorrow, tomorrow I have two more. Yeah. It, plus office hours. So yeah. It, yeah. Wow. Good times. Yeah. The good times. Yeah. Good times. Well, thanks, Jeff. It's all good, and, though. It's fun. Yeah. And we'll see you, everybody, on the next episode of the IA Cast. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you for tuning in to the IA Cast. We hope you enjoyed the show and found the conversation to be insightful and informative. If you have any feedback or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Please send us an email at feedback at iacast.net. You can also follow us on Twitter at IACast Network to stay informed about new episodes and other updates. Don't forget to check out more great podcasts on the IACast Network, iacast.net. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.